Good evening. I'm Jessica Moore. Just a short time ago, the Senate approved a bill to keep the government funded for 45 days. To get it passed, House Speaker Kevin McCarthy dropped his demands for steep spending cuts. The president is now expected to sign it. CBS 2's Michael George has the breaking details from Washington. It's been a day full of twists and turns, but the American people can breathe a sigh of relief. There will be no government shutdown. Late Saturday, the Senate voted to approve a 45-day federal spending plan. Earlier, House Speaker Kevin McCarthy crafted the measure and pushed it through despite opposition from hard-right Republican members of his own party. The bill is passed, and without objection, the motion to reconsider is laid on the table. The last-ditch effort, which averts a government shutdown for now, funds federal agencies and provides money for millions of paychecks through mid-November. On the House floor, we passed by overwhelming numbers the ability to keep government open for the next six weeks. I ask Congress will stay in session the next two weeks, continue to work to get this done. To get the votes he needed, Kevin McCarthy relied on Democrats to help push through his temporary funding plan. We went from devastating cuts that would have impacted the health, the safety, and the economic well-being of the American people in 24 hours to a spending agreement that meets the needs of the American people across the board. The package leaves behind aid to Ukraine, which is a White House priority opposed by a growing number of GOP lawmakers. I'm confident the Senate will pass further urgent assistance to Ukraine later this year. But it increases federal disaster assistance by $16 billion, in line with President Joe Biden's request. Now it won't be long before lawmakers have to scramble once again to reach a long-term agreement. Michael George, CBS News.